I, uh, I make drawings primarily, and I also have made sculpture as part of my practice. And I don't, I don't see the drawings as drawings for sculpture. They're, they're their own uh, medium. And I, they're equal in my practice, in my mind. Um, and I work on them simultaneously over long periods of time. Sometimes a drawing will take me a year, or uh, I put it away for a while and come back to it. I don't have any assistance. I work, you know, I just get up in the morning and I go to my studio and I spend most of the day alone working. My works on paper are graphite, wax, and paper. And paper is uh, not just the surface. The paper is a big part of the drawing. It's as important uh, as the graphite. It's each, each are like tools, the wax, the graphite, and the paper, and they, they work together. So the works behind me are, um, these are from the early 90s, and they're, uh, I was a young artist at the time. They're works that were, that I was working on um, as my life was happening, which was really consumed with the early and the beginning of the AIDS crisis. And so lots of my inner circle of friends were dying or were sick. And um, there were different activism groups that I participated in. And uh, the drawings and the, my early sculptures are they were kind of my retreat after kind of what was happening socially. The work was my way of dealing with it on an intimate, on an intimate level. And the works on the far wall um, and uh, that encompass the rest of the exhibition are works that I worked, down, uh, worked on uh, during the lockdown, during the recent uh, COVID uh, pandemic. And uh, I, I left my home and studio to go live um, in the, in, the, in the seaside and didn't have my normal tools or a studio in a space. I primarily kind of worked in a small, intimate space in my home. And, you know, we're uh, for the first time experiencing nature, um, not just like on the weekends, but, uh, and also, you know, being a lot very fearful. I, I had, um, people that I know that um, passed away from COVID. And um, it was uh, like we all experienced a very frightening time. And I did what I always do, which is draw. Drawing has always been the place where I go to, to think. And uh, I didn't think that I was actually making a body of work. I was just doing what I do. And uh, after we came back and I was back in my studio, I unpacked and put the work up that I had been working on and was sort of surprised actually by how much I did actually work. The curator here, Victoria, uh, uh, came to the studio as she's been coming to the studio over, over 20 years visiting and saw the what we were calling the we were calling them the lockdown drawings but that's not the an actual title it was kind of more of a working title and she asked whether i had any of the drawings from the 90s that she had remembered and i opened a drawer and we put some up and in that way that it almost always takes somebody else to have an experience she saw this connection that I had done these bodies of work during two different pandemics. And she was, um, you know, uh, she had her vision of, she wanted to see them together. For me, my, 
my work has always been a, a, a marks that are a, a language, absolutely. Um, and I, you know, in the early works, you can sort of see that I'm a, I'm a young artist and I'm figuring out my language and figuring out my tools and it's fast and it's in that way you are when you're young and you don't see it in the moment. You're just doing your work. I'm just doing my work. And what, for me, to see this work together now here is you can see the, the kind of maturity happen. I mean, there's a big block of time that's missing, right, in the middle, but it's a sort of beautiful experience to be able to see the growth in my language. And I don't want it, the language, the landscape, the body, it's not so specific. I'm, I'm interested more in a, and I, you can see as I get older, the work becomes more abstract and the, the, the language more broad and the emotion deeper. There, there's, a, there's a sort of fearlessness about, it, you know, being intimate. And I hope that, you know, my story transcends so that other, other people can come and come into the work in their own, in their own way and have their own experience of it and that it, it takes them someplace or enables them to experience life in a different way. And that's always been the magic of art for me, that transcendence in art is what makes art different and magical more than any other medium. <laughs>